the policy of the government in dealing with poverty and increasing our economic independence is to create employment. Now, let's be clear. We celebrate it, but we're not saying we have arrived. We have a long way to go because we have to improve the quality of jobs that we now have. But, but before you can get to high level paying jobs, you sometimes have to start off with jobs that uh, may not be so high paying. But once you get people working, then you have a parallel strategy of supporting skills. You want to upskill your labor force. And that is why we have now appointed a minister with responsibility for skills. Because we are going to go hard now at trying to upskill our labor force. And that's why we have removed all the tuition fees from HART. So if you are interested in getting a skill, one that HART certifies and, uh, and teaches, you can go to that institution and get a skill and get that skill certified. And that's the, the strategy now. So we want to be on this growth path. And that growth path, we have already started. We are, this is our what, ninth consecutive quarter of growth. Not big growth, 2%, 3%. We've been going along, but growth, which we not, weren't having before, and uh, increasing in jobs. And we're going to support that by increasing skills. And at the same time, we're going to keep supporting the economy by investing heavily in infrastructure. I come from Oboko in the Eastern region. My profession is a nurse. I stand in for peace. Peace is when we understand and respect individuals' culture. And also, if love is equally distributed, then peace can be achieved globally. Thank you. I stand in for peace. Peace. It was very bad. It reached out to the street. Yeah, the garbage. To the street, yeah. yeah. Couldn't get over there. Yeah. And it smelled all over the place. It's terrible. Dog, rat, mm -hmm. rat coming over to our house yes. in the night, you know. Yeah. And how many people are helping you with this man monitoring right here? So. Just me and Pansy and, and a little guy. Yeah. Um, we call it playing with. Well, it's looking good. Thank you for the work. Yes, sir. And keep it up, you know. Yes, sir. And hopefully when people see that we're serious about trying to keep it clean, they will respect it. Yes. And they themselves will start to put the things in their garbage, this receptacles themselves, and they'll just throw it down in the ground. And Sometimes I have, I have bags and I give it to them. Yeah, yes, as I give well. Them bags. All right, give thanks. For quite a while now, open spaces in my constituency have been challenged by persons using them as dump sites where garbage is disposed of, sometimes by residents, but also by persons from outside the community, including business people who come and dump large amounts of garbage. It causes no end of problems. Fires when people light the garbage, producing toxic smoke rats and other vermin, it's unsightly, it smells horrible. The Solid Waste Management Authority has not been able to manage this problem, even though we work closely with them to try to do so. I have decided to implement a system of wardens, persons drawn from the community who will have the responsibility to maintain those dump sites in a clean condition. We worked with the Solid Waste Management Authority got them to do an initial clean-up of those sites, and then we've deployed the wardens to monitor them on a daily basis. If garbage is left there, to put that garbage into disposable bags or in drums so they can be collected by the National Solid Waste Management Authority on a regular basis. So here we are on Asquith Street, uh, to the southern side of Jonestown. This is really the worst of the dump sites that we had. 
it was a nightmare. This road was often actually covered in garbage so that there was only single lane passing on this road. And as you can see, we put rubber tires to kind of show that it's a monitored area, it's a managed area, and the garbage has been kept out of the area. And you know, I'm very pleased to see how it's being maintained. The program has just started recently, but is already very much appreciated by residents because these unsightly areas which have really been a horrible blot on the communities are no longer that way and people are seeing that we can manage our environment and we can also manage our solid waste and garbage in a way that preserves the dignity of residents and helps to make the community a better place to live in. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. Please remember to like, share and subscribe. Please remember to hit that notification bell as well so that you're notified whenever we've uploaded a video. That way you don't miss any of the videos. Thank you so much. So the United Nations International Day of Peace sometimes called World Peace Day, is observed annually on September 21st. So that will be in less than a month's time. It is dedicated to peace and specifically the absence of war and violence and can be celebrated by a temporary ceasefire in a combat zone. The day was first celebrated in 1981 and is kept by many nations, political groups, military groups and people. Each year, the International Day of Peace is observed around the world. The United Nations General Assembly has declared this day as a day devoted to strengthening the ideals of peace through observing 24 hours of non-violence and ceasefire never has our world needed more peace. Well, I saw a post from Ziggy Marley regarding the World Peace Concert and I was, um, I got interested in it, right? And I said, I can do my part by doing a video on this so that a lot of people who never knew about it can be enlightened and they can share the videos. We want um, many thousand views on this video, right? So you can do your part by sharing the videos, right? So there will be a concert be an online event on September 21st at 501 BST virtual live virtual online concert Thursday September 21st wake up rise up live for peace try to be a part of it if you're able to I'll log on online and you will see a whole host of artists across the globe that will be a part of this live for peace concert so that's thursday september 21st so i'm definitely going to be logging on to be a part of it and i hope you're able to do that as well thank you so much for joining me on this video